Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going to Q3 of the Weekly Contest 287. Minimum the operations to write the letter Y on a grid. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. I think this one, there are maybe two problems that you have to combine in a way. Uh, I don't think it's super difficult, but you just have to figure out. And the first part, of course, is how to draw the Y, right? And there are a couple of ways you can think about it. I will show you the way later. But honestly, because N is odd, uh, yeah, and it's on. It just goes. You just have to find the middle point, and then it is. You know, this one of the diagonals is i is equal to j, and the other diagonal is i is you go to n minus j minus one, and then the vertical is just obviously well, the the column is going to be uh, n over two, and that's it. So yeah, um, and then so that's part one, and then the second part is well, how do you minimize it? And then I don't know if there are funky ways to do it. Maybe there are. I don't know. But the way that I did it with it is just brute force because n is only 49, n squared is only 2,500-ish because it's 49, not 50. But, um, but yeah, uh, and because they can only be 0 and 2, I literally just go, okay, well, I wrote the code for checking how much it would cost if the y is a certain color and outside is a certain color. And basically, this is the loop that we talked about. We look at every cell. If this is on the upper half, then it has to be on the diagonal. If not, then it's outside. So we just checked where they're different. If it's on the bottom half, then um, I checked that it is, you know, the, the middle stem um, to see whether they're Y or outside. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. And and then because there's only 0, 2, that means that there's only... Um, three times two choices, so there's only six choices. So I just kind of wrote them out. Maybe I should have used the for loop, to be honest. But but that's pretty much how I did it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what is the complexity here? Well, this is going to be six, or if you want to say three factorial, uh, or three choose two. Uh, three choose two times n squared, that's fine. But it, everything is very small, so that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. The way around. Four six. All right, let's give it YOLO. If I messed this up, I'll be very sad. <laughs> I did it go a little bit fast. I, if this was a real contest, maybe I would spend an extra like half a minute on it, to be honest. But uh, all right, Minima, minimum operations to write the letter Y on a grid. What is what, what is a Y? You have an N by N matrix, N is odd. So we have zero, one, and two. What is the proof thing means? Oh, wait, what? Man, this is okay. So the diagonal start at the top left. Du, 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 du. All right, the letter Y is running together with all belong on Y. You go. No. All right, so it's just like proof force, right? Maybe. Yeah, especially with where. Maybe I'm misreading this. Forty nine seems a little bit small for what I was thinking to spawn with. A minimum number. No, I mean I don't think so. Unless I'm misconfusing this. Hmm. I guess it doesn't the end doesn't really matter, so maybe they just kind of give us a graceful thing, but that's still very really awkward. Alright, let's uh let's see. What 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 is the uh thing? Um <clears throat> how do I wanna do it? I mean this is just however you wanna do it, right? So let's just say draw. Um Y outside, uh, something like this, right? So then now this would be n to the, so i is equal to j and i is equal to j minus, or n minus j minus 1, all the way up to i is equal to, no, 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 i is equal to n over 2, and then it's just uh, just straight down. Okay, fine, right? So yeah, uh, all right, fine. So, okay. Um, if grid of ij, how do I write this, right? So if this is in the di if, if, if i derive, or is equal to n over 2, right? So if it's 5, it's going to be 2, so this is good. Um, 
oh it's less than or equal to then and um, let's see i is equal to j or i is go to n minus j minus one right then okay then if grid is not equal to y then delta plus one yeah i mean otherwise it's good um i have to kind of write this in a funky way okay so if this is the case then if this is the case otherwise we want if grid ij is not equal to outside then delta increment by one otherwise we have the bottom so then this is just if uh, j is also equal to n over two right if this is the case if grid of ij um, okay, yeah, if this is not you're gonna uh, do, 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 do. There's just case analysis, but it's so easy to mess this up, I think. Right, so then now we want to return min of uh, draw zero one. Maybe I should write for loops for this. Larry, you know how to write for loops, right? Uh, yeah, because th this is how you mess up. I, I messed that up. Wow. I mean, I caught it, but I still messed it up. Hmm. Maybe I'll write a folder for this. Uh, do, 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 none type. Is this return none because I don't return anything? All right. Well, that's that's an easy fix. Three and twelve. All right. Let's go. No typo, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's. Take a look at the leaderboard real quick, just to... Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this virtual contest, this problem, everything in between this explanation. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.